world, double reed instruments are intricate in design and they are very difficult to make. But over the last 70 years, the bassoon, contrabassoon, oboe, and English horn have been handcrafted and perfected out in 21 country. <laughs> just a little unassuming factory, but we make these really special, really niche musical instruments that are treasured by the musicians that play them all over the world. The way the Fox product started is that the founder, Hugo Fox, used to play bassoon with the Chicago Symphony. And when he retired in 1949, he decided that he was going to move back to his hometown and fulfill his dream of building bassoons in America. We do just about every step of the process here. That starts with getting in logs of maple that will process and to be turned into instruments. After the wood is aged for a very long time, we bring it into the factory and it all starts in our body shop. And that is where we will mill the outside of the pieces to make them the correct shape on the outside and we'll ream the inside of the pieces. And that is how we get our bore, which is the inside of the instrument, which really affects how it plays and how it sounds. So in our tone holing department, we put basically all of the holes that the sound will come out from the instrument and also all of the slots where the posts will go and that's how keys get held onto the instruments. Then we go into sizing, and that's where our craftsmen will go through and make sure that the pieces of the instrument are gonna to fit together properly. Then we put everything together in our finishing departments. That is where all of the keys will get fit and make sure they fit properly and any excess silver plating's removed. There's over 100 parts that I actually assemble on one bassoon. I take typically about 30 to 40 hours to do my key work on one of these. You know, I, I go through a pretty extensive process of cleaning and sanding and, and making sure that the actual keys that the musician touches are, uh, you know, that they feel comfortable um, and perform the way they're uh, designed. Lots of cutting little tiny pieces of cork and felt to be put onto the keys. Um, so a lot of fine detail work to really bring it all together. The end of our process, um, every instrument gets play tested by one of our in-house musicians. And then they will get packed up really nicely in a case and shipped out the door. So many different hands touch each of the instruments. So we have teams of you know, 30, 40 people working on each instrument um, just because there's so many different steps. So people will master their one step. Like we have people that spend time working in the body shop and they're really good at sanding those properly and people that make keys. Um, so you have this team working together and if anywhere in the line something goes wrong with the instrument, um, it's gonna affect everybody afterwards. So even though we're you know, making seven or eight bassoons a day, still for some of our models, you'll have to wait nine plus months. And for our contra bassoons, you know, it's often over a year to wait to get one. Um, and it's because they are so specialized, people are willing to wait for these instruments that you can't get from anybody else. We're really proud that in this little unassuming factory, we make these really complicated, um, really, really detailed, really high quality instruments just in South Whitley, where we have one stoplight and make world-class bassoons. <laughs> I love that story. That's uh, great. That was Daniel Beals producing, by the way. Uh, the cost of those instruments range from a couple thousand dollars to more than 30 grand for the finest contrabassoon that can take you a year to get. In 2012, the Fox family sold the business to Tony Starkey, who continues to grow that factory in South Whitley today. Very cool. Yes. Very